Doing a lot of good and gorgeous girl too, Kelly. Oh, All right, yes, that yes. is yes, uh, very impressive. That is a beautiful shot. That's also an impressive <laughs> shot behind you. What is that right there? Yeah, I love the shot because you get uh, half the sky here in the sunshine, and then you can see that shower cloud off to the right. So we've been in and out of showers here and even some blue skies. And this shot just shows all of it. Those ominous clouds and some rain showers out to the northeast parts of Portland. Uh, there you can see it there. So much different view depending on which direction you are looking. Look at all that rain out there. So we are tracking scattered showers here to the east sides of Portland. Low 50s now. We'll still see these scattered showers and also sunbreaks as we head our way into our day today. So there it is. There's that big patch of rain here out to I-205. So some wet roadways redampening in those showers. They will scoot out the door here as we head into the next 20, 30 minutes or so, maybe back to blue skies. But a chance we still see off and on scattered showers rolling through areas of Portland and out across the coast as we head into our day today. I do want to mention up north here in areas of Washington, look how stormy it is. We're getting a line of thunderstorms with lightning strikes right through Aberdeen and areas of the peninsula. Same for out near Forks, Washington. You can see those lightning strikes and uh, these storms could be quite severe too. Uh, a chance we even see maybe a tornado. There is a warning that was just up in areas uh, near the Puget Sound. So watching this area here closely today, a lot of active weather out there. Chance we see a few thunderstorms ourselves in our region closer to Astoria uh, down through about Seaside. We have a marginal threat for some of these stronger storms today. So through the afternoon as that cold air pulls in with a little bit of moisture, a chance we get some of those uh, heavier cells there that could hold some downpours, even some hail and some light. So watch the skies if you're out there. If you see anything, please send us some weather photos. Take a look at our rainfall future cast. We are expecting those scattered showers to push on through. I do see that better chance for thunderstorms out towards the coast as we head our way into the evening and cool down. But scattered showers across the valley, down through Salem and across the I-5 corridor heading into our evening. By Wednesday, I see some dry time. We'll be in between weather systems here. So a good break from the rain as we head into about midday. Those rain showers likely approaching again as we head towards our evening. Right now, models pushing around 4, maybe 5 o'clock to see some of those uh, heavier showers rolling in. And this is all part of our next system. That is an atmospheric river. Again, it's a big plume of moisture that stems from the tropics. It packs a lot of moisture and we'll see some heavier persistent rain through Thursday and also Friday and quite impressive rainfall totals too. forecast models have been consistent with just a SOG fest for the region as we head towards Thursday and Friday. So keep the rain gear handy. Uh, both Veterans Day on Thursday and Friday, likely the rainiest days of this week. Just check out our forecast rain totals as we head through now into Friday. We could see two and a half inches of rain, possibly even three. Some of the more aggressive models really uh, showing those heavier rain amounts around Portland and the Valley. The coast could see up to maybe five, six inches of rain. So big bullseye will be the coastline and also the foothills of the Cascades uh, for rain. Take a look at November rain totals, five and a half inches about uh, every November here, so we'll add a lot into our rain gauge. November rain so far, it's rained every single day and likely three to four more days of some soggy conditions uh, that will add to that. Here's our snow levels forecast. We'll likely see some melting up towards the mountains by the end of the week here, but until then, likely some light accumulations over government camp and maybe another round of some light snow for the uh, summit there, maybe up to six inches or a foot. Uh, so great to see that base continuing to build. A quick look at our zone forecast, low 50s, a little breezy today. We'll see off and on scattered showers here in the valley. A quick look at our seven day forecast. You can see that rain continuing to push in Thursday and Friday again, tracking some of those uh, very heavy showers here. And we continue with the showers. I do see a chance that we get some dry time as we head our way into Sunday. Uh, but still going with a chance for showers for now, so we'll watch that trend. But real soggy conditions expected uh, to roll in as we head towards Wednesday night through Friday now. So keep that in mind, and we'll watch the coast today uh, for those scattered showers. Highs today back in the low 50s. Jenny? Mm, yeah, we have so many leaves in our backyard right now, Kelly. <laughs> yeah. But I'm like, well. It's raining. It I guess still, I'll just have to wait. Yeah, it is still pretty yes. out. There are a lot of trees that are still holding on to the leaves, but I think soon as we head towards December, likely getting yeah. rid of a lot of the color out there. Oh, you know, these are leaves on the ground that I need to pick up, but they're all oh. wet <laughs> okay. and it keeps raining. So I just keep yeah. not picking them up. Tomorrow there's yeah. a dry break so you can get to it, Jenny. I'll be at work. Okay. Okay. <laughs>